Hello everybody and welcome back to my vlog and I've got a another boxed a little preamp on the bench now I'm doing this now I was gonna leave it until I've done another one I'm doing it now because somebody mentioned in a comment it and I didn't want them to think that uh, I'd just gone out and bought it from their mention so I'd already got it and uh, And here it is. I do like the box thing again. It's um, it just makes sure that everything stays stays good inside. So nicely, that's with this foamy type material, which is nice. And then in a bit more cellophane. So plenty goes into the packaging on these. You really want to send these out nicely. Now, if I remember rightly, it's the same make, Moffy. So this is the Acuphase C-3850. And there's been some good talk about this. Um, I've seen one or two videos and I just thought, well, I'll check this out for myself because it's a nice, uh, it's a nice looking kit again. You know, it's on a nice small board again, which is quite nice. Struggling so much to get into this, but that's, that's good. I, I do like uh, the way they're packing these up. I really, really do because it just means that they they get to us, the end user. Just give me a moment. Yeah, they get to us in uh, in good condition. So, lovely little board. We got a um, that's the JRC fifty five thirty two goes on there, which means you can swap that out with a few of the others. Um, sixteen twelves, the OPA sixteen twelve will swap out with that. Um, so, if you like that different type of uh, different type of tone sound, there's there's other ones as well. If I remember, I'll stick it up on the screen, a few of the other ones you maybe have to swap out. But I would do that with caution as well sometimes, because swapping these, um, swapping out these uh, um, op amps. No, I, I just, just scrub that. So inside here we've got our... Nice bunch of components. Look at these. Look, these are all backed. Wow, this is getting even better. Uh, we got a <laughs> we got an up pump socket, so we can, if we wish, swap out the uh, the up pump and try some others in there because it will give you different tones. It'll, you know, it will adjust the sound a little bit, and it may be more to what you prefer. Uh, yeah, so here's all the bits. Anyway, let's have a little look on the on the website and see what it says on the website. So here we are at AliExpress, and here it is: the Equifase C3850, the preamplifier. That does look like a nice little board. Here you can buy it finished as well. Thirteen thirty-nine, probably about fifteen dollars, something like that, American dollars. That is, uh, I don't know what it'll be in Australian dollars. Uh, so here we go, we got it, it's a class A preamplifier. So none of that crossover distortion. PCB small flexible, yeah, all kinds of installation. Just have a little look. Uh, that's anything really. Uh, no, let's, uh, let's look down there. So we've got our voltages if you want to go in there and probe it out. That's really nice, and it tells us what we got going on here. So we got a uh, these are the Nichicon FHs. That's the uh, these are all bipolars, like on the other board. Rubicons, nice. Do like Rubicon. Uh, uh, Nippon Chemicom. So these are going to be our Nippon Chemicom. The leads have been 
cut, but hey, that doesn't really matter. And the Rubicons are these nice blue ones. Oh, they do look pretty. Oh, can we do that there? You see that says Rubicon on there. Let's take that. I do, I do like the idea that they're using, they're not just using like, you know, rubbishy, powery type capacitors. They're using decent capacitors. That is nice. Because it just means that, you know, they got some faith in it and they want people to enjoy it. So what else we got down here? Uh, LED, the orange LED, IM4148, small signal, uh, A is our op amp, JRC5532, uh, we got an op amp socket. So yeah, I got a funny thing, this is going to be quite nice once it's built up. All right, so that's that. Let's crack on and do it. All right, so here it is on the bench built up and I'm using the um, Analog Discovery. Analog Discovery 2, I've got a 56K um, resistor. For the output that I'm measuring across there with the scope and we're just coming from the waveform generator. From the uh, from the uh, AD2. All right, so yeah, I mean it's um, nothing really to report on building it up. There's only one thing that I would say is when it comes to putting in the little IN 4148s, put them in first. They're the smallest part on there. And if you put the resistors in, you start putting the transistors in. What I found um, because I just forgotten about them really. So when I went to put them in, my, my fingers and thumbs were a little bit too big for being that, um, uh, you're better off putting them in first. You're better off putting them in first. So, all right, let's look at the, uh, let's look at the screen then. And, um, I've already done it so I can show you. There's a couple I'll show you as we do it. Um, but here I've done the, um, uh, the frequency, uh, THD plus noise versus the frequency, uh, so we can see what it's like. This is on my setup. Uh, there could be things in here that, um, you know, cause noise and, and, and do, but this is what we've got. Uh, it comes through. This is with the noise. As you can see, the way that goes through, it's still under 0 0.1. Um, which is fair enough, but you, you know, a lot of places only advertise with the THD, so it knock off the noise, and we see that the THD is a lot lower, 0 0.04, so 0 0.04, 0 0.04, all the way across the line, 0.04s, 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 is quite respectable, really. Um, that's not bad, you know, considering this little setup here. Uh, frequency response already pre-done. Uh, this is the 20k, uh, 20 hertz. Sorry, so we're um, 0 0.06 uh, dB down in relation to the input signal. And here, this little bit, I see this in quite a few lumps, actually not all, uh, but we got a uh, 0.14 dBr up. Uh, so here we got the minus, there, and there we got this. A little bit of plus on that 10k area. Nothing really um, to, to you know worry about or anything like that. It's about here is about one dB, so uh, way off it. Um, looking at the scope, uh, this is a uh, 50k. Let's we'll go to the uh, 100k. So there's a, a 100k. Yeah, you know, um, you could wind this up even further if you wanted to, it seems. This is 500k, but it's not going to be as good. And really, we're just going to be interested in more like, uh, let's say 50k is more realistic. Uh, that's good enough now, you see these little wiggly bits here. If I just put the input a bit higher, a bit more oomph going in there. That sort of straightens that out a bit more. 
Um, so if we just drop that down now to 5k, yeah, nice square wave. Of course, the one that we all know is the 1k. Uh, we go for a hundred hertz. Yeah, no, it's on the thing because it's smidge off there. Some little artifacts in there, but I don't think that's anything to bother about particularly. Uh, and then we get a fifty hertz and twenty. And again, I mean, that is not a lot. It may look a lot on here, but it is not a lot, really. And 20 hertz, my speakers only get a, my, 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 mine get a 30. So, you know, I'd be very happy with that. Very happy with it. Um, I will look at the frequency response, spectrum analyzer. That's, uh, this is where you get to see uh, one channel that and you see this like this but the noise is a little bit higher there and if you drop this down you see this look oh the noise floor rises so you want the input on it to be you know not too low because your noise floor will come up but that's to be expected of course uh, 250 there we go so you know it's it's not terribly bad for how I can measure it with this little setup it doesn't seem to be too bad at all uh, definitely nothing um, out of the ordinary I swapped out some of the off amps I got a, I got a few here and I swapped them out uh, just to see. Now I did notice um, that if you use some of the op amps, I think the voltage gain in here might be uh, up on the higher side. Like some of these, uh, I can't remember which ones they are. We've got 17 volts. All I'm going to say is, look, watch out for that. But the ones that did work, uh, there was no real difference at all. Nothing measurable uh, when I was doing a, a test on the old uh, audio analyzer here. And all I can say to you is uh, you you will get a tonal difference because I did it before on the NAD uh, preamp and I could hear, you know, um, a dif difference in tone. It was th th There's differences, okay, but uh, it's going to be down to personal preferences on what flavour you prefer uh, yourself. So, but, you know, with that um, 5532, you're going to be fine anyway. Uh, not bad at all. All right, that's it. That's that's what I got, and um, I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Bye for now.